Hi, this video tutorial I will cover externalizable in Java. Externalizable interface belongs to Java.io package. Super interface of uh, externalizable interface is serializable interface. Externalizable interface has uh, two methods read external and uh, write external. If the class implements uh, externalizable interface, it has to override uh, these two methods and uh, provide implementation. If you want to customize your serialization mechanism, then we can use uh, externalization. JVM will check whether the class implements uh, externalizable interface or not. If the class implements uh, externalizable interface, then object serialization will be done using uh, write external method. If the class does not implement uh, externalizable interface but implements uh, serializable interface, then object serialization will be done using uh, object output stream. This happens at sender side. At receiver side, when object is reconstructed and it is externalizable, then uh, instance will be created using no argument constructor and uh, read external method is called. When object is reconstructed and it is not externalizable but uh, implements serializable, then object is reconstructed using uh, object input stream. Here I have defined uh, employee class which implements uh, externalizable interface. And it has uh, three fields ID, name, and age. It has a default constructor, and I have defined uh, getter and setter methods for these three fields. And uh, here I have overridden uh, two string method, and uh, this method returns uh, employee information. Employee class implements uh, externalizable interface. So it has to override read external and write external methods. In write external method, I am serializing only ID and name fields of employee object. I am not serializing age field of employee object. This way we can do custom serialization. In read external method, I am deserializing only ID and name fields of employee object. I am not deserializing age field of uh, employee object. This way we can do custom deserialization. Here I have defined the class uh, externalizable write. It has main method. I am running this program in uh, debug mode. Inside main method I have created uh, externalizable write object. Then I am calling uh, write employee object method. Inside write employee object method, I have created object output stream object using object output stream constructor which accept output stream. Output stream I am passing as file output stream. Here I have created file output stream object using file output stream constructor which accept file name. File name is employee.ser. Then I have created employee object and setting id as 101 name as peter and age as 25 then i am displaying employee object then i am calling write object method of object output stream and i am passing employee object this employee object implements externalizable interface so it will call write external method in write external method, I am doing a custom serialization. I am serializing only ID and name fields of employee object, but not serializing the age field. And here you can see successfully written employee object to the file. And inside finally block. I am closing object output stream. I am refreshing this project. 
you can see employee.scr file is created and it contains employee information. Next we will see how to read this employee information from this file and reconstruct the employee object. Here I have defined the class externalizable read. It has main method. I am running this program in debug mode. Inside main method, I have created externalizable read object. Then I am calling read employee object method. Inside read employee object method, I have created object input stream object using object input stream constructor which accept input stream. Input stream I am passing as file input stream. Here I have created file input stream object using file input stream constructor which accept file name. File name is employee.ser. Then I am calling read object method of object input stream to reconstruct the employee object. This line will call read external method because employee object implements externalizable interface. And in read external method, I am reconstructing ID and name fields of employee object, not reconstructing the age field. So I am doing a custom deserialization. Then I am displaying the employee information and you can see ID is 101, name is Peter, age is 0 because we have done custom serialization and deserialization, we didn't serialize age field. Inside finally block, I am closing object input stream. And this is about externalizable in Java and thanks for watching.